this video we're going to start graphing functions which is um, chapter 22 in your book so the first lesson really is just a recap of what we've done on, on functions before and um, let's just recap quickly what a function actually is a function is basically a rule or an equation and in every function what we have is we have an input value that we can put into the function and then we get an output and what the function basically is is it's the rule slash equation that we put the input value into so there's different ways you can write functions but the simplest way to write a fun function would be y equals 3x plus 7. now generally x values are our input values input Hang on a second, put this on charge. X values are our input values and Y values are our output. So an example for this function might be, well, let X equal to two. So this is our input. And what's our output? Well, when X equals two, Y equals three times two, plus 7 so y equals 13 and that's our output but of course we just picked one input value there we just picked let x equals 2 but we could pick another input value let x equals 3 and when we do that we'll get another output value for y we'll get y equals 16 when x equals 3 and you could do this for an infinite amount of values you could do this for all the x values you can think of so basically no matter what your input is you get a different output now this particular type of function hopefully you'll recognize it it's a linear equation and the reason we call it a linear equation is because if we were to graph all the results of our inputs and our outputs we would end up with a linear graph which well it cuts y at, uh, at plus seven a linear graph that would look something like that now there's different ways you can write functions and this is the bit that kind of confuses people the most rather than writing y equals 3x plus 7 functions are often written like this f of x the function of x equals 3x plus 7. now in this case it's the same thing your answer is still your output and your input is still x but what we'll often write this as uh, the way they'll ask questions is they might say well what's f of 2 and if you're looking for f of 2 what they're saying to you here is that they want you to make your input value which remember your input value is x they want to let your input value equal 2 so when you put this into your equation it's the same as before 3 times 2 plus 7 f of 2 equals what was it 13 again here's your input and here's your output so it's just a different way of writing it and then they might call another function they might call another function g of x equals 2x minus 7 and again you just put in your inputs in here and your answer is your output another question they might say to you is well if f of x is equal to 3x plus 7 and f of x equals 16 what's x and again the confusing thing here is just understanding the way they write it so they've told us the rule but what this statement here means is that we don't know the input we don't know what the input is in this case but we know the answer in other words we know the output so if we wanted to solve this we'd get our equation and we put it equal to the output and we get well 3x plus 7 equals 16 and then we'd, we'd solve for x the way we normally solve for x 3x equals 9 x equals 3. so that's just a basic int introduction the last thing in the introduction that i want to cover is there's obviously different types of functions so we talked about a linear function there but we also have functions that might look like this x squared plus 3x plus 2 
And this would not be a linear function, this would be a quadratic function. And you should know all of this by now already. But what you're expected to know is you're expected to know what quadratic functions look like. And when we graph quad quadratic functions, they look something like this, kind of a U-shaped. Or they might look something like this. And whether they look like this first graph or the second graph depends on whether your x squared number is positive or negative. So in the case of this, this example I've given you here, the graph would look something like this. But if I had another function, let's say f of x equals minus 3x squared plus 17x minus 22, because we have a minus x squared number, we get this kind of n shape rather than, or hill shape rather than a u shape. But again, that's just a re quick recap. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop this video now and I'm going to make another video where we go through an example just so the videos aren't too long. But what you should do is make sure you take some notes on this and make sure you're comfortable with everything that we've done already because um, this is all just revision and I'll, I'll um, in the instructions on Teams I'll give you a page that you can read as well that kind of quickly recaps all of this.